Greetings again, minions. Wheezy here. Today, uh, on the weekly wrap-up, we're going to cover everything that you missed on the channel this week, and we're going to talk about monetization because my channel just got re-monetized. <laughs> I was monetized many, many years ago and then demonetized when they changed it. Doesn't matter. We're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about what you can do to not watch ads on my channel. <laughs> Let's go talk about it. Okay, let's get right into what was up on the channel this week. This is going to be an actual weekly wrap-up. <laughs> Things are getting more settled, even though I still need to get rid of all these games. Um, so, the first thing posted since the last weekly wrap-up is a Battlefield Five video where I was playing with a support class. Um, and I don't, as I titled the video, I don't play with support very often. Um, but the way that I play class-based shooters, which is like all of them now, um, or at least most of them, I guess. Call of Duty's not really that way. Battlefield. The way I play Battlefield is I try to like rank up all the classes kind of equally at the same time. I don't just like rank up Assault or Sniper and then leave support at like level 4. Um, so anyway, all that is to say support was lagging behind in Battlefield 5 because I haven't played much of it in general. So I played with it a little bit, had a lot of fun. Here's a clip from that video. Sorry guys. Wait, did that guy that stepped in front of me, was that an enemy? Come on teammate, get him. He's right there. Is he still alive? Is that guy still alive? Fuck. I don't have time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teammate. I didn't have time. Yeah, I'm definitely having a lot of fun going back playing Battlefield 5. Um, you know, you may see more of that on the channel. Who knows? We'll see what's uh, what's coming in the next few weeks. Um, after that, I posted a short early. I had another video that I was working on. Didn't quite get it edited in time. So I posted my short on Tuesday this week, I believe, instead of Wednesday. Um, but, here I'm just going to show you the whole thing. What the bomber Christ! Boys, save me! Come on, squatty. Medic, somebody. Come on, you penises! Yes, yes, medic! You fucking- No! <laughs> Oh god! Oh, thank you, Squatty. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I will save you because you were going to save me, sir. You fucking legend. Yes, medic. You fucking no! Talk about an only in battlefield moment. Just. The plane coming in, the medic flying over my face, like, only in Battlefield. I can't wait for 2042. Uh, so, after that, I posted a game of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, they recently added it to Game Pass, so I figured, I figured, punch my microphone. I figured, why not give it a try? Um, I like flying, so I cranked all of the settings up to advanced for flight. Um, so there's no assist to like help me with the airplane. I had to basically operate the airplane the way it needed to be operated. Um, and then I decided to fly up over Bora Bora and turn off my engines. So, uh, here's a clip from that video. Do we go fucking crazy? Can I just turn the engine off? Let's see. Let's just turn shit off. Let's just turn a bunch of shit off. Magneto. Off. Oh, I'm in a jet. Fuck me. 
Where's the airport? Uh... I don't know how to read instruments, really? I think the airport's up that way. What? No. Overspeed? No, pull that, pull that down. Yeah, so I, I know that one is not uh, a typical Wheezy video, but it's definitely worth a watch. Um, it's just... I wouldn't post it if I didn't think it was entertaining. Just so you know. Uh, after that... Um, Actually, this was inspired by uh, Ancap in my Discord. He was talking about how he went back to play. Uh, he downloaded the Halo Anniversary Edition to go play some old Halo. And I was like, man, I should play some Halo with Infinite coming out and the hype starting to build up. So I threw in Halo 5. And by threw in, I mean, I think I, I, think I downloaded it because it's like one of those, one of the, I think it was on one of the, it doesn't matter. I have a digital copy of it even though I have the disc. <laughs> So I downloaded it. You don't even care. So I played a game. I, I, I'd played two matches of multiplayer in Halo 5 ever, right? Which is when I got Halo 5, which was late in its life cycle, because I didn't get an Xbox One until, like, the end of the Xbox One life cycle, basically. So I got Halo 5, played, like, two multiplayer matches, <laughs> quit the game entirely, beat the whole campaign. So this was me going back for the first time since, God, oh, like, over a year, whenever I played Halo 5, I can't even remember... Uh, and this is uh, a clip from my multiplayer match that I jumped into. That's melee. Left bumper's probably a grenade. Yep. Alright, I'll go ahead and take that double kill. Got, yeah, you've got the sword. Let's, let's get some help on him. Fuck! New that was a bad throw. Ow. Ow. Oh, I fucked up that first lunge. Don't rush that. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm showing my skills, bro. Showing my skills. I, I guess I had forgotten how much I really kind of enjoy Halo. It's a completely different animal from modern based more realistic shooters because it is a you know it's halo so it's a space based shooter um but halo is just solid i know it's not bungie anymore destiny is obviously the new bungie property which is super tight as far as its gameplay and controls and stuff like that but i am excited for halo infinite so expect to see some of that on the channel as more comes out about it i never did get my beta invite the hell <laughs> Okay, the last thing posted this week uh, actually got uploaded this morning as I'm recording this, Friday, and it was how to unlock the CX-9 SMG as fast as possible. Now, I wasn't expecting to do one of these, as I mentioned in that video, <laughs> because I'm not playing Cold War anymore, but they added a new primary weapon, a new SMG to Modern Warfare. So I got to go back to Modern Warfare and unlock a new gun, and then play some matches with it and r rank it up. I've almost got it all the way ranked back up uh, to get all the unlocks. So I made a video uh, on the fastest way to unlock it in multiplayer in Modern Warfare. You can use it in Warzone if you're a Warzone player, but here's a clip from that video. But uh, yeah, since we're just looking for long shots, hardcore is still the way to go. You could obviously do this in core. It would just take longer because the ability to consistently get long shot kills with SMGs Guys, do you mind? I'm trying to commentate here. Is uh, is irritating. So let's pop this on. Mute these motherfuckers. Not a long shot. Got to be further than that, Roger. There's one. Dude, this is getting fucking spicy. You looked the wrong way, bro. Oh my god, 20 rounds is so few. That's no rounds. Come on. Good lord. Yeah, so make sure you go and check that one out if you want to go back and play some Modern Warfare. Even if you, like, you're, like I'm not using it in Warzone. And again, I'm just kind of like, oh, it's something to unlock. So I like unlocking things. 
But Modern Warfare is still such a good game. If you want to go back, unlock a new weapon, and then go and just play with it and, and rank it up, man, I can't, I can't recommend it more highly. I still believe Modern Warfare, best Call of Duty in the series. Changed my mind. Changed my mind. Um, okay, so now let's talk about monetization because YouTube, many, many moons back in the day, <laughs> I actually managed to get to the point where I was monetized on YouTube. And this was like what? Like at this point, probably 10 years ago, eight or maybe eight years ago. Um, the requirements for monetization back then were a little bit lower. YouTube was a very kind of different place at the time. Um, but I was monetized. I even got a check from Google way back in the day for YouTube. Uh, once ever, you had to reach a certain threshold before they would actually send you money. And it was like a hundred dollars. I made a hundred dollars on my YouTube channel, like eight or nine years ago, just from the number of views I had received at the time. Um, but I got demonetized when they changed the AdSense monetization scheme. Um, but now the monetization is you have to have a thousand subscribers, which when I kind of died from YouTube for five years, I already had 2,000 subscribers. Um, so we've done a good job, by the way, minions, thank you. Um, when I got back onto YouTube, I had like 200 people that were subscribed to me, um, realized they didn't wanna be subscribed to me anymore, and so I dropped down below 2,000, and now I'm back up above 2,000 and climbing. Um, that's all thanks to you new minions. The only reason I even have 2,000 subscribers, I basically am a channel with like 500 subscribers, <laughs> but it looks like I have over 2,000 because there's like 1,500 people who subscribed to me like 10 years ago and they have probably never checked their YouTube accounts <laughs> since then. Um, anyway, different, different point. But the point being, the new requirements were 1,000 subscribers and within the past 12 months, you have to get 4,000 total watch hours, which is quite a bit. Um, I just hit that. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm now available for monetization, which means I can put ads on my videos, which I'm not excited about, but I'm going to tell you how to get around that and still support me if you're interested. Um, but part of the larger idea for this channel is I want it to be able to become self-sustaining, right? Like I put a lot of time into this because I love it and I love bringing you guys content. I love playing video games. It was kind of a win-win. I'm also, I've always loved video editing even before I got into YouTube like in college. Maybe one of these days I'll post this horrible kind of fun little movie that me and my friends made in college. It's terrible. Maybe I'll, it's on my personal YouTube channel if you guys know how to find that. Some of you have, some of you found it back in the day. And it's posted to my personal YouTube channel. Um, but anyway, that's a different point. The point being, I love making content. I love posting it. It's not about money for me, and I never intend it to be. That said, it would be super nice <laughs> to uh, to have this channel kind of self-sustain itself. Um, especially, like I said, I put a lot of time into it. I have a full-time job, um, a really good job. So for me to become entrepreneurial and replace my day job, I gotta replace a lot of income. I'm a I'm a software consultant for Red Hat, a senior software consultant. So I make I make decent money with them. I would love to be able to do not just not just this YouTube channel, right? But but entrepreneurial stuff in general. You you guys have been around, you know that I do photography. You know I do um, obviously my gaming YouTube channel. I have some more philosophical uh, things that I want to pursue um, in the in the terms of helping to bring ideas to the world that maybe aren't full of um, violence and and coercive principles. Somewhat ironically, because I really love violent video games, but I don't like violence in the world. Um, so anyway, those are kind of bigger picture things that I'm dealing with. You guys, as minions and subscribers to this channel, might have to start dealing with ads. Now let's talk about that. Um, I, I give you some of that background so that hopefully you understand that the idea here isn't to bilk you guys for, for cash, cash money, yo, and to irritate you with ads. And especially if you guys are watching on PC, you guys have probably known for a long time that there's Adblock, Adblock Plus, that's what I've been using up until recently, um, kind of unrelated to this monetization. Um, but let's just go ahead and talk about that briefly. Recently, in the last couple of weeks, YouTube started doing these, you guys have probably seen them if you, especially if you're on PC, they have these like gray overlay ads that aren't like typical like video ads that YouTube usually plays that kind of pop in and play some company's ad, but they're like a gray text overlay that was, that is this like, you can't like Adblock and Adblock Plus, which is what I was like using, have, have used for years, wasn't working against these things. So I had to go out and research how to stop <laughs> those new ads, because I don't like ads any more than you guys do, right? Um, on mobile, it's a completely different creature. 
I, if you're using the YouTube app, there's really nothing you can do. You're going to be watching ads. That's, you know, it just, it is what it is. Um, but I had to go and do some research and I accidentally found this awesome new ad blocker that is creator friendly, meaning a, it blocks the new YouTube ads that Adblock and Adblock Plus haven't yet figured out how to block. And B, the way that it does it and the reason it works is because it identifies the ads and it still technically serves them up, but it skips them. So for instance, if there's video ads like before or during a uh, video, um, you'll see them in the browser kind of pop up and then immediately disappear. So what it does is it tells YouTube that the viewer was served the ad, so it actually goes towards monetization. Because if you use something like Adblock or Adblock Plus, YouTube doesn't serve up the ad at all. It's completely blocked. And so the, the creator doesn't get a ad view for that, right? You guys maybe not don't care about that. Maybe you do. So this blocks all the new ads, blocks ads in general, and it helps the creator because it makes YouTube think that they're seeing the ads. And it also helps you with, this is something that Adblock never did, those websites that are like, hey, we see that you're using an ad blocker. Please disable it on this website to support us. Some websites let you click, no thanks, and they let you go to the website. Some websites will block you from using their entire website unless you disable your ad blocker. This is undetectable to that. And that, so transitioning to that, and I'm not sponsored or anything by this, I just found it. You guys should use it. It's called Undetectable Ad Blocker. I'll put a link for this down below. Um, undetectable ad blocker, and it's a Chrome plugin. So if you're on Firefox or Edge or Opera, I can't really help you. I don't think unless this has a version. I didn't do a lot of research, so check around. You could probably find something equivalent in Chrome. Undetectable ad blocker. Use it. I've been using it. It's great. Like I said, you'll be watching a video. You'll see those video ads pop up for like a split second, and then they'll go away. So I feel good too because I've got a lot of YouTube people that I love watching and it's nice to know that they are actually getting some AdSense from my views now, um, whereas before they weren't. And I still, every once in a while, especially for my favorite creators, I just, they, when they're monetized, they, you can send them money, give them, they have send tips and super chats and stuff like that. Um, I'm not getting to that point yet until my channel's big enough for that shit to matter. I'm not gonna be activating subscriptions and stuff like that um, just yet. But all that is to say, got monetized, that's good news for me. It's probably bad news for you guys. Although I'm hoping YouTube claims that monetization doesn't factor into their algorithm as far as serving up ads, or as far as serving up videos. We'll see. Uh, hopefully being monetized, I think YouTube might be a little bit sketchy about that. My channel might grow even more than it has been. You lovely people have been finding me and subscribing, so hopefully the channel growth is gonna at least continue at the same pace, if not accelerate. I'm gonna keep coming to you guys with awesome content. I'm expecting awesome things with Battlefield 2042 coming down the pipe. And maybe even Halo, like I'm not gonna be like huge, huge, huge into Halo. Um, I've always enjoyed Halo, especially back in the day of Halo 3. Played a lot of like Forge custom games with friends and stuff like that. Still, if you guys didn't see my last weekly wrap up, Come join my Discord. I was just looking this morning and actually it looks like there's a few new people in Discord. I, I thought when people joined my Discord, I would probably get a notification like someone, someone joined your Discord. I think there's new people in the Discord and I don't think I was notified. So you can tell how long it's been since, since people have been joining the Discord. But anyway, if you join my Discord, fucking welcome. If you haven't, go join my Discord. There's always links in every video description for my Discord. Um, so do that. I've been already, it's, it's taught, it's a long, it's a long weekly wrap up. I'm making a bad habit of it. I'm gonna stop right there and I will see you guys. My laptop beep. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>